Hello guys, Grex here and welcome to an introduction and how to use HD to TC conversion tool. It's right here guys. The tool is right here and you can download it from the link I'll be uh, displaying in the description. Okay, so what's an HD to TC conversion tool? It technically converts Age of Empires to HD, which is here, to the Conqueror's version and create a separate installation folder. So when you use this tool, uh, the conversion will be done in the sep in a separate folder, not, not on the same folder of HD. So that's a plus for this patch. Now, here are some key features which you can read later. I'm not going to talk about them because for now, I will be showing you how to use this patch. Okay. So uh, the very first thing you need to do is uh, download this patch here. Okay. I've already done it, which is right there. Right. And just to show you guys, I only have HD. I don't have any other game. I don't have the classic version or the conquerors yet. So let's go to Vubli to make sure. And by the way, this tool will help you also play on Vubli, which is actually the very main uh, focus of this tool is to make playing on Vubli possible. Now let's check if uh, I have any game installed here. Okay, great. As you can see here, we have problems. Nothing is installed. Let's quit Wobbly. So for now, nothing is configured on Wobbly whatsoever. Step one, double click, click accept and wait for the app to run. All right. Now we're going to click yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Here it is guys. Very simple. One, two, three, ABC steps. The very first thing, uh, this patch will check if you own uh, the HD. So let's click verify here. All right. I have HD. Of course I have it. Now, uh, step two will take uh, f just a few seconds. It will start converting HD to uh, TC or the concaters, if you must know. Great. Just give it some, some seconds and watch a little shortcut will be displayed here on the desktop. Come on, show me that sexy. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying these words. Uh, that shortcut. Come on, come on, come on. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Great. There it is, guys. We have the concaters right there. Excellent. Now let's click auto configure Wubli. Now this is one of the, the greatest features on this patch. You can just click one button and bam, even Wubli is configured now. Let's check guys. Let's have a look. Let's go to here. Great. Crazy. I wait, 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 wait. I'm doing something crazy guys. As you can see, let's, let's run a test, a quick test here just to show you, uh, what a great time for asking me if I'm improving. Uh, I think, I don't know, probably guys, let's, this, this was my password guys. Let's run a test. I want to show you something. Now this, this patch actually will have AIs already installed in it and even small trees have, have a look here. I don't even have, I don't even have the, what is it called? Mods, visual mods. I have no visual mods and small trees is still there. And take a look. And this is the sexy barbarian AI. There it is, guys. Let's make sure to set hard or hardest so you can play it. You can click start game. And yes, it's working. It's working like a charm. No bugs, no yeah. errors, yeah. nothing. Yeah. In the gameplay, it's very smooth. You would not believe. 
You would not believe actually you're, you're playing Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna do gameplay. Let's Let's do Marco Polo to check if uh, the barbarian is working Excellent. It's working as you can see the AI is so smart It plays just like a human it lures boars Well, there are other AIs as well there Okay, this is the setup. It's so easy. I hope you guys got the, the point here <coughs> Excuse me <clears throat> now, what's left now is the hotkeys. <clears throat> Thank you, Avast. Now, if you have uh, custom hotkeys on Steam, here is how to uh, make them or convert them to uh, the TC version. Okay, go to your Steam li library, games, right click HD, properties, go to local files, click browse local files and here in this folder that's your hotkey it's player one it's player one player one is your uh, hotkey file that's step one step one is seeing the hotkey file where, where is it now step two is to locate this one so now what you're gonna do you, you're gonna take this path and paste it here Let's do, full, full. Let's do full from the start, guys. Choose file, put the path here, click open, and here it is. I'm gonna choose player one. Okay. And click edit. Excellent. Uh, let's show you something. Uh, I think it's a uh, galleon or something. I have uh, docs. Duck, 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 where is it? Yeah, I have the Canon Galleon on X, on, on HD. So on HD, it's X here. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, here, it will see if E, and we're gonna click generate, all right? Now, we, we're gonna get player zero, okay? Let's rename this player zero. But before we rename it, let's let's do one more thing. <clears throat> let's go here, okay, and open file location. So this is the location where uh, the, the TC is installed. Now this is the file we downloaded, guys. Okay, this is the file. So here is what I need you to do, guys. I need you to paste this file here, okay? I just dragged it here, all right? Now, what I can do is remove this file, which is player one in the TC version, right? Let's remove it. Bye. But we're gonna replace the zero by one and that's it guys these are your, your hotkeys if you don't believe me let's check do you remember i have x on the galleon <coughs> sorry on the canon galleon i have x here let's go to hotkeys duck and there it is canon galleon x so your, your hotkeys will be converted with no problems whatsoever. So I think that's about it, guys. That's, that's about it for this patch. But before we finish this, before we finish this video, let's answer some questions on the Reddit forums. Let's answer some questions. All right, all right, all right. We have, I couldn't get the old method to work and remember this way, has anyone done this method? Yes. Video link or YouTube tutorial here. I will be soon. Okay. Would anyone mind explain the differences between the base version Steam and this mod? I know are the 
there are differences between HD. Okay, I like this question by a happy cat. Okay, happy cat, one of the very uh, benefits of having this patch is access to a wider variety. Yeah, right. Variety of AIs and latest ones such as barbarians AI <clears throat> that's uh, one of the very cool features about having TC or the concurrence now TC is also TC single multi T player performance is superior superior compared to HD <clears throat> especially of course with 1.5 patch another feature of this uh, TC version is that TC or the concaters, if you must know, runs in any oh god Windows system. I'm very sorry guys, my typing is slow because I'm cold. Starting from Windows 998 to Windows 10. Like that's just one of the, the very interesting features about the concurrence. You can run the concurrence on pretty much any Windows system, even Windows XP or Windows Vista, anything. It will work just perfectly. Now, what else, what else, what else? Um, yes, TC is very stable. Thanks to the continual user patch support. Oh my god. I think that's uh, what else? I don't know. I think that that's pretty much it. These are the, the very noticeable things about TC. Amazing man. Great. Hallelujah. <clears throat> okay. If and if I have compatibility patch and I want to try this one, I need to reinstall whole game or I just start TC installation. Yes, you just start the TC installation. Just start TC installation. It doesn't matter if you already have or used compatibility patch. Wow, this seems awesome. Mm, what happened to... Yeah, yes, I have already updated. Thanks for the work. Okay. I love this this guy. This is the one of the developers of user patch. Okay guys, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys can give this a try and let me know in the comment section if you have any requests, any questions. So uh let's let's close here this uh, patch. Okay guys, have a good